Hello, my name is Trevor Lewis, and this is another video from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. I just want to show you a couple of more tricks in X shape. Uh, these are a little more experimental for me. I don't have full control over all of these tools. I don't fully understand how they are working for me. I'm going to go into the subdivision in X shape, and I'm going to edit this subdivision by double clicking it. Um, and I want to show you how you can change the shape, like really bend it. So we already know that we can select certain things and we can move them. Okay. Um, we already know that we can turn symmetry on, which I have on right here. But I want to show you a couple of ways to m modify the shape. And I haven't figured out the best way to get them to move or how to make them predictable. Um, the two that I want to show you is arc bend and flex. So arc bend... Um, gives you uh, handles. So I'm gonna, it, it, you have to choose a plane to put your arc in. So I'm going to choose this plane right here. So I have this arc, and I can bend the arc. I can change how long the arc is. I can change the angle that the arc is at. Um, so now I've got this arc bend, but I think I need to actually select some of my shape. And you can see it bent that part. And the more I, I bend it, the more I bend the shape. Be careful when using this that you don't get this, these tight pinches like this. Uh, where you actually have the inside and the outside switching places, um, that will make it not 3D printable and make it not an object that can exist in reality. Um, so just be a little bit careful about how you use this, but it is a way to bend a part of your object. And you can select other parts to add them to the bend. Um, and moving these handles changes the way the bend looks, right? Um, and you can kind of play around with this. It's not what I would call super predictable how this works. But you have these three points to play with, um, and you can bend in different planes. Okay, So that's one option. That's arc bend. It's this one right here. Another way is flex. And flex, it says it deforms the selected mesh points progressively. So that means um, it, it will, it, it will uh, it, when you select these lines, it, the things that are closer to the, the flex are going to change more than the things that are further away. It's a little confusing, right? But you can try it out. And you've also got this, these, these little circles here that you can move. So it's a little bit different than what a standard move does. But I, I haven't quite, ma like I said, I haven't quite mastered what these points do. You can see when I'm moving these two, it's not really seeming to do a whole lot. Um, but when I move this point, it certainly does a lot. And you can see that some things are changing a lot and some things are changing not a lot. Um, it's a little confusing. I just recommend rotating a lot when you're using flex and being careful not to go too extreme because if it gets too thin or if it inverts, you're not going to make it 3D printable. Um, you also have this auto rotate view. And when I press that, it will turn it into the, the view that I want to view the flex from for some reason. I don't really understand, like I said. But you can move it actually in three dimensions, which is kind of strange, right? You can, um, yeah. It, I would just not go too extreme on it. but if And I would use it early on. Not for, This is not for fine-tuning, right? This is for um, coming up with a shape that you find interesting in the first place. Um, and if you get too in the weeds, you can always hit the red X and it should go back. Or maybe you might have to undo. Oh, see, it's saving each one of those as a separate action. So I have to undo. Look at that. Okay. So be careful with flex and be careful with arc bend, but you can use those to deform your shape, um, and make more interesting shapes maybe.